Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back for episode three of part two of that 90 show. Let's get ready to jump in. If you want to see the full length reaction, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or for coming the channel because you access as well. It is a watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up the time codes for actually the entire episode. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote on what movies to react to each month. We got month Q and A's, behind the scenes footage to try to make it worth your while. Since you're a support channel, but guys, at the end of the day, I really appreciate it. If you enjoy this reaction. To least leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. With that all said and out of the way, let's go ahead and hop into episode. Episode three, just a friend. Here we go. <laughs> what did what did he just That's eat? An interesting headline. Annoying kid leaves kitchen. <laughs> Local man keeps foot to himself. Hey, what do you know? Oh. Periodic table shirt. Got some juice in there, caboose. <laughs> oh, Grandma, I know what you mean, but oh my god. The hell. I, I don't like that phrase. I have an interview where Gwen works at the mall. Is it at a Yankee Candle? I would tear that place apart if I had an employee discount. I would be <laughs> knee-deep in Wix. It's at Hot Topic. It's like the coolest store in the mall. That place is not for you. I know it's not a perfect fit, but Gwen is like the main reason I come here for the summer. No. <laughs> Oh, dude! I didn't discover. <laughs> I didn't discover Hot Topic until the 2000s. Nate and Nikki broke up, and Ozzy is here to fill me in on the gossip. I don't know who any of those people are. <laughs> I wish I had something saucy, Mrs. Foreman, but they were together for a long time, and the magic was gone. They were in a rut, just like you two. Whoa! 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 Ozzy, back off! No, we're gonna fight. Is pot pie night in red? Hold on to your slippers. I am thinking of adding cheese. Well, hot diggity damn! Oh, you are. We've had it without cheese for 40 years. Because that's the way we like it. Don't oh change a thing. Right. Don't listen to him. He's five. Oh, those were Mentos. Do this all day. What? Why do you have so many? It's like a Walgreens down here. What the fuck? Not gonna lie. Not enough chocolate. I've tried that. <laughs> I've done that. Hard. Nikki's probably devastated. I've been there. Right now, she's either crying into her tube top or riding the mechanical bull for some male attention. <laughs> either way, she's drunk. What the hell? Here's all the stuff you left at my house. Wow. Well, I mean, it has been a week, but to me, it's been the next day. And everything. <laughs> I've heard the guy's stuff once, but it was his car. <laughs> oh my God. You're doing way better than I thought you'd be doing. See, I was sad at first, but then I realized that we weren't meant to be. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to torture you first. <laughs> you know that striped thong you wanted me to buy because you thought I'd look like a sexy referee? I'm familiar. I'm going to go buy it, and then I'm going to tell you when I'm wearing it because I want you to know what you're missing. That is just cruel. <laughs> Bye, Mrs. Run. Bye, sweetie. God damn. She's a spiteful okay, thing, dude. man. Mommy. Oh my god, you big baby. I torture you guys Pontiac to get this kind of reaction. You came to visit me. I'm here for a job interview. You want to work here? That'd be dope, but I don't think you're going to like it. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> Rude. Oh, dude, I wore exclusively Hot Topic gear for quite a while. I still get a fair amount of shirts there, but good God. Thanks. I feel so cool. Jump scaring herself now. All the zippers and spikes. Dude, I had like three pairs of trip pants slash shorts. Win. Mitch. Hey, I'm Leia Foreman. I'm here for the interview. Foreman? You wouldn't be related to an Eric Foreman, would you? Because that guy stole my smoking hot Donna. Oh my gosh, shut up. Uh, no, my dad's name is Norman. You should Norman? just, you should just mention. Hi, my mom. 
it, ugly. You should mention your mom is Donna. Because I loathe Eric Foreman. Sometimes I fantasize about hitting him with my Geo Storm and then just backing up to finish the job. <laughs> his skull and then his dumb family couldn't even have an open casket his daughter would probably be so sad Aww. that's messed up you're hired <laughs> hey mitch what are you doing in here you abercrombie scum <laughs> oh by the way mitch has a psychotic hatred for abercrombie and fitch and fitch and foreman cool. we brought you some birthday cake we have a lot of leftovers because we don't eat dessert obviously oh did your shirts down. I got this, Mitch. <sighs> Later, ladies. I'll see you at the gym, Mitch. No, you won't. Because Mother lets me use her Nordic track at home. <laughs> Rude. Uh, I, got a he I, got a I gave myself a headache like, cackling at that shit, man. Ugh. Well, could be the TMJ acting up, though, too. What's with the dress? Did someone die? <laughs> Was it Bob? Was it Bob? No, I put this on to be fun and spontaneous. No, oh, kitty, stop it. We have a wonderful life. A little nervous about him just slinging around those shears, man. We need to, to shake things up. Would it kill us to make love before Wheel of Fortune? We'd miss Peter Jennings. <laughs> we are in a rut, and I'm trying to climb out of it. You know what I was thinking about last night? Going to Paris. Oh. I've always wanted to make sandwiches with their bread. Don't get yourself all spun hey. up. If this is really bothering you, I'll go for it. it. You'll think about it. Can't wait to brag to the girls at the salon about that one. <laughs> I am taking this back to the kitchen. It hurts, Mom. Oh, buddy, I know. Breakups are hard. I can't do this anymore. I got to go to work. He's yours today. Bye, sweetie. <laughs> Uh, here it's a porn tape i swipe for my dad uh, oh be too sad for this well that worked uh, <laughs> wait what the romance mystery and how refreshing to see an accounting firm run by women hmm. they keep the office fun <laughs> now give it back let go this is a kelso family heirloom <laughs> Oh God, oh God. I was planning on being sad again before my bath. <laughs> God, it made me so nervous. They could break the front of that off. They could rip out the tape. What do you think? Enough spikes or not enough spikes? Too many it spikes. It's you to buy a sexy outfit to make your ex-boyfriend jealous. You're right. It's vindictive, it's immature, and it's using my body for spike. For spike. Did I just hear you ask why I hate Abercrombie? No. No. 1985 mall talent show. I had just begun my breakdance routine when I heard the Abercrombie gang chanting, You saw! <laughs> I tried to keep it together, but during my climactic head spin, I soiled my parachute pants. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh! Gwen! Uh, oh! Oh! No! <laughs> 45 minutes to make a copy and the form is just Oh left. no. Let's just uh hurry up. I mean I cannot get caught doing this, bro. Hey, this they're actually exactly the kind of I think I'm pretty sure do doing it right. Okay, we're all set. You will play I'll hit record. Okay. Jennifer, you forgot to fill out your 1069 form. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey ladies, I'm Axel, the maintenance guy. I swear I tapped out last time. <laughs> Nothing's happened yet. I knew what was about to happen, Axel, and I was excited for it. Same thing needs to be handled. Die by handling my. The uh, what happened? What? I think the tape's jammed. Get up and fix it. <laughs> you get up and fix it. I, I can't right now. <sighs> Nothing happened. <laughs> I mean, you're a teenager. Sometimes it's it's not. It's just that easy. It won't come out. Let's just take the VCR. People think they got robbed. It breaks into someone's house, but it only takes a VCR. Let's steal more stuff. God damn it! So smart. <laughs> We're smart. <sighs> Not bad, huh? I really appreciate you making the effort, Red. I think this used to be my gynecologist's office. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I just fucking oh, spit so on myself, man. Choices. I can't eat this crap. 
It's pronounced crepe, Greg. Bonsoir, monsieur, mademoiselle. Can I start you off with a bottle of sparkling water? We'll have whatever's free. Actually, let's try something new. Give the lady Aww. the water. I, I, I do not like sparkling water. What? <laughs> what are you doing? Kissing a hot guy? Yeah, you were. Oh my god. Can you leave so we can talk? Can you leave so she can get back to kissing a hot guy? It's okay. I'll catch up with you later. Well, I'm going to fuck Rutgers. My aunt choked there once, so I get free pop. Hey. What is What works, on? works, man. Are you two fun rucking? No. He's just like my human bop it. You know, bop <laughs> it, twist it, pull it. <laughs> Play that game with my dad. Oh. How long has this been going on? I don't know. Like oh, no, no. A month? Quinn, you should have told me you were hooking up with the Abercrombie and Fitch guy. What? Oh, you're going to get fired. My office right now. You mean the chair where people try on boots? It's a multi purpose chair. You mean like every chair? Office! <laughs> God. This is my favorite episode so far. Living room in my kitchen. Oh my God! Please don't tell the FBI. It got jammed in the foreman's VCR, so. So you wanted to steal the VCR, but that looks suspicious. So you stole everything. I dated guys like you. Not surprised. This breakup's killing me. It hurts, but then it gets better. It's like when you came out of that lake with that crawdad on your scrot. At first you're crying, trying to yank it off, then you let go, and it let go. Gotta let her go, bro. Thanks, Wisdom man. right there. That's a Miyagi classic oh, right there. I was nervous when you said screw up, but you really landed the plane there, kid. <laughs> I'm... Oh, it's bigger than anger, Gwen. You broke my heart, and I don't have a lot going on. Gwen, I got this job at this ghoul factory because I would do anything uh. to spend time with you. Meanwhile, you've been lying to me for a month. Are we on the same page here? I thought we were best friends. Leah, it's not like that. Yeah, it's worse than that. This is hot topic, and you know what the topic is? It's trust. <laughs> You're fired. Seriously? There it is. Turn in your dog collar, get out of my store. <laughs> Your store sucks, and I'm telling the whole mall your belly button ring is infected. What? No, it's not. Why would you even say that? It, it smells totally normal. I can't believe you did that. If she's fired, then I quit. Oh, no. A girl who's worked here almost three hours is quitting. Whatever will I do? By the way, my dad is Eric Foreman, and Donna's my mom, and they do it all the time. Whoa! You can't even have to ask that much. <laughs> Tell your mom I said what's up. No, no, we won't. I was eyeing the trout almondine, but it doesn't have a price. It's offered at market price. Oh, how much is that? It depends on the price that has been dictated by the market. <laughs> Which when is to what meal, today? What little number is going to be next to trout almondine? That is dumb as shit. I'm not the master of the market. <laughs> but you're the waiter. What sides does it come with? The chef decides. <laughs> Just the way we Fucking decided to <laughs> your French asses in WW2? I don't think he's French. I'm from Kenosha. We're done. <sighs> I'm gonna clean my grout with this. Well, they tried. They tried, I guess. Put that on the table. Oh no. Maybe bring the table, which I said we should, but you're so bossy in a crisis. <laughs> Uh, uh, porn got stuck, so we robbed your grandparents. <laughs> they, uh, it, it was one of those ideas that was bad, but then it got good, and then it got real bad. Why are we talking? They could be home any minute. How are we gonna put this stuff back? Relax. We just need a fresh idea. Or a montage. Oh my god, are you fucking... <laughs> a Mentos montage. Pivot! Pivot! Oh my god. Fresh idea standing in the middle of the living room? Oh, 
Was I not talking? It's like when she slipped into that music video. What happened to my living room? Pillow doesn't belong here. Oh, that's way better. Thanks for trying tonight, honey. I'm sorry it got so crazy. I was trying to make you feel special. You can do way better, man. At making her feel special, not better than Kitty. Just so we're clear. Head over to Gordy's for a couple of fish dinners. Mm, I love Gordy's, and they let you pick your own darn sides. Amen. Uh, yet, we could skip Gordy's and uh, spend some time together before Wheel of Fortune. Mm -hmm. Well, red, red, red. I kind of have my heart set on Gordy's now. Ah, oh, you done fucked up. I was up. hoping you'd say that. <laughs> oh, they're cute, man. I should have told you everything, but it's really embarrassing. I like him. Like, really like him. Aww. Not aw. He's popular and preppy and normal. He goes against everything I stand for. <laughs> That's his name. Yeah, fair That's enough. Person. That's a hot name. I know. <laughs> I'm so screwed. Where was your first date? Have you guys held hands? Are his lips as soft as they look? Applebee's? Way past that and even softer. <laughs> Don't wait up. I got a meeting. <laughs> With a mechanical bull. Oh my god. Nice throwback. Hey. Oh, whew. I was waiting for a uh, Thanks. crash. You're not gonna say anything about me touching your balls? We really are broken up. If you're here to torture me, can't wait until tomorrow. I'm having a way harder time than you. I'm having a hard time too. My revenge underwear is so far up my butt crack that it's a part of me now. <laughs> None of this I don't is think I need to know that. Either. Nick, I'm sorry for everything. It was already happening. One of us had to be brave enough to end things. Oh, wow. That's mature. Thanks for helping put all the form and stuff back. Yeah, no, I've always wanted to help my ex-boyfriend with his porn heist. <laughs> but I'm glad you got Every girl's that. dream. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I was expecting Jane Fonda. Instead, I got Shane Fonda. Uh, I honestly think that, that joke at the end, that Jane Fonda was the weakest joke of the episode. This was a banger, man. I thought this one was fired on all cylinders. And we had to end on a little <laughs> But it's fine, man. This episode was, I don't know. I just loved all of it. Mitch, surprise Mitch cameo. And just laying right into it, especially his vindictive nature and his obsession with Donna, his rivalry with the Amble Crombie guys and just all the stuff with Gwen, all the stuff with Leia, and then Nate trying to figure out how to navigate this breakup. It was just a lot of fun seeing the just the shenanigans that they were getting into, especially with Jay trying to be supportive in his own roundabout, doofy-ass way. It was just fun. And Nikki trying to kind of, it seems like she was just pushing through the breakup herself by you know, focusing her attentions on being vindictive or spiteful or petty, you know, getting back revenge wise at him as a way to avoid actually dealing with and confronting the, the frustrations of it. I liked all of that. And Seth Green's again, coming back to Mitch, just slipped right back into this. And that was a whole delight that every encounter within that and bringing this into Hot Topic, man, a place that once upon a time, pretty much owned my soul. Red and Kitty trying to figure out how to navigate this rut. Also super endearing. And I wonder if that's going to be like a, maybe an arc throughout the season or not. I, I'm not exactly sure, but, or just like a topic of the episode, you know, them trying to do things a little bit differently, be a little spontaneous, you know, shake things up in the routines. You know, she mentioned going to Paris. So instead he tried to take her to this restaurant that they just weren't prepared for or ready for at all. I mean, it'd be super cool. I mean, why not in their time and their age? There's not like there's not much time left. Just go to Paris, man. Just go. I really, really dug this episode. As far as like the comedy all throughout it, this one might be the funniest from any of the episodes up until this point, at least right now. I'm riding high off of the the gist of this episode at the moment, but like even thinking back on the season one and the previous episodes we've seen so far, I don't know if I've laughed that much or that hard for that matter. I actually started to get a headache, started to <laughs> irritate my TMJ, man. I'm excited to see what happens next. That said, guys, what'd you think? 
Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry in the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If it did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you want to see the full length reaction, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you're going to the channel, get you access as well. And speed up before you go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Manny Sherrod, your course gone, Melita, Robert Anguiano, Jeffrey L, Jake Contrell, Eric Official, Casey Wood, and Russell Crockett. Thank you guys so much for continued support. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.